Hi, this is Denise coming to you from the den of the Pink Leopard. Welcome to Pink Leopard Software. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Pink Power Server, which is the heart of the SQL Server Performance Monitor. The Pink Power Server is a Microsoft service and it is controlled through the control panel. The SQL Monitor Setup Program installs the Pink Power Service using default settings. You can change these settings through the local services function of the control panel. To install the Pink Power Server, you will need administrative access to the machine where you are installing the service and administrative rights to the SQL Server instance you wish to monitor. Start the setup program by right-clicking on the SQL Monitor Setup and choosing Run as Administrator. So let's fire it up now and let's take a look and see how it runs. This next step is very, very important. So if you would please carefully review our license agreement and continue only if it's satisfactory to you. The first setup screen allows you to register the Pink Power Server with the Pink Leopard. You may use the program for free, but the server will only return 100 performance metrics and 100 lines of a trace. If you are just taking it for a test run, you can skip this page. If you have already purchased this very reasonably priced license from Pink Leopard, all you need to do is put in the IP address of our licensed server, which is on our website at www.pinkleopardsoftware.com. In the server field, and the email address used for the purchase in the proper field. Clicking Get a Key from Pink Leopard will, in a perfect world, register the software. If you have any problems, please don't hesitate to contact us for a key. You will need the machine identifier to register by email. The machine identifier uniquely identifies your machine. If a registration key pops up in the field, your software is registered. Yes! The next screen sets up your SQL Server connection. After entering the data, click the Test Connection button. If it is successful, you're good to go. If the connection is not successful, do not install the service. The next screen allows us to install or uninstall the Pink Power Server. It also allows you to authorize the three Android devices that may connect to the server. If the checkbox is not checked, no device may connect. If it is checked and shows waiting for authentication, the next device to connect to the Pink Power Server will automatically register. If the connection is authorized, the device connection information is displayed. To delete a device from the system, simply uncheck the box. To allow another device, click it again and connect using the new device. After installing the server software, you're good to go. Thank you for your interest in the SQL Server Performance Monitor. If you have any further questions, please check out our other fascinating and informative videos. And if all else fails, contact us directly at www.pinkleopardsoftware.com. <laughs>